Well, you know, we saw a decent day on Tuesday. Wednesday, we'll see warmer temperatures, and Thursday, we're expecting temperatures well into the 80s. And we may see some rain showers as we head into Friday with some thunderstorms, and that will cool things off by the end of the week. But before we get there, let's talk about what's going on outside right now. It is mild, no doubt about it. Not dealing with any chilly temperatures tonight, though there might be some areas dropping into the 40s for lows. But for the most part, we'll be around 50, Portland up to Wiscasset and into Bar Harbor. You'll be in the upper 40s with that wind off the ocean. But in the locations, you're going to hold on to that warmth a little bit longer. And and with the shorter nights, we're really not going to be able to cool off that quickly. So it's going to be a mild night across in the locations right now. Temperatures mostly in the 50s, even a couple of 60s around as we head into the overnight hours. So winds are light out of the south. And, you know, that is key because we've been talking about these wildfires across western portions of Canada. And that's been dimming out our sunshine. And it's been in the upper levels of the atmosphere. So we really haven't been worried about that in terms of any type of respiratory issues that you have. But over in Nova Scotia, we've been talking about this. The wildfires that are occurring there, we have an east to west flow. Normally we have weather moving west to east, but we have an east to west flow. And it's low level smoke that's going to be moving across um, the uh, bay. Uh, the, the bay. Uh, and we're going to continue to see those smoke plumes moving into the, our area tomorrow. I don't think they're going to be as pronounced as they were on Tuesday, but still keep that in the back of your mind tomorrow that we could still see some low level smoke moving across um, the uh, the ocean into our area as we go into tomorrow so right now high pressure is in control nothing much going on right now really not seeing that smoke plume like we were seeing it earlier this afternoon on the visible satellites so overnight tonight we'll see those temperatures dropping into the upper 40s on average lower 50s but a mild night especially in the locations and even tomorrow morning starting out in the 50s a good place to start because many locations inland will have plenty of sunshine and temperatures jumping into the 80s. So a fantastic day tomorrow, a nice warm toasty day for that matter. And as along the coastline, we're still dealing with that easterly wind that's gonna keep things a little bit cooler. And again, we could have some of those smoke plumes meandering into our area as we go through the course of the afternoon. Then tomorrow night, temperatures dropping back into the 60s, another lovely night. And that sets us up for Thursday when we're expecting temperatures to really crank up into the upper 80s across many locations, especially in the afternoon. And we will see some clouds increasing late in the day, especially across northern areas, as a cold front moves will be getting to uh, its act together, moving into our area, and that will cool us off. So here are the temperatures tomorrow. Look at, we're taking a look at northern portions of the state. Yeah, Caribou, 88, usually one of our cooler spots. No, not tomorrow. 87 Millinocca for high temperatures, but look along the coast, coastline, mostly in the upper 60s, lower 70s with that cool breeze off the ocean. Again, water temperatures are still in the lower 50s. That's what's saving you there, but just go several miles, five, 10 miles inland. You're in the lower to mid 80s, 86 degrees ought to do it in Freiburg tomorrow. But as we get into Thursday, high pressure pushes to our east. That return flow, that southwesterly flow, is going to kick away that sea breeze. Everybody starts to warm up on Thursday. We'll see temperatures breaking 90 once again. Yeah, I know we had 90s over the weekend, and a lot of us aren't ready for that. And, uh, you know, I'm not really not ready for that either. But that's what we'll be dealing with on Thursday. But then there's that cold front sneaking through late night. Thursday into early Friday, we start to see showers and thunderstorms breaking out from north to south during the course of the afternoon and evening. And then cooler air arrives in time for the weekend. So that's what things are looking like as far as the weekend, a little bit cooler. Seas tomorrow three feet, southwest winds 10 to 15 knots, gusting up to 20 and that water temperatures in the lower 50s. Here's your seven day forecast inland 90 on Thursday, cooling off a little bit with more clouds on Friday with those showers and storms couple of lingering showers in the morning Saturday. We're going to tweak that forecast. Some models are hinting that it may, those showers may stick around, but I think we'll probably kick them out by the early afternoon. So I think we'll salvage Saturday. Sunday's looking fantastic. Look at that, 70 degrees. That's right where we should be. And then maybe some beneficial rains as we head into early next week. That's how the forecast is looking. Have a great night, folks.